Hey guys, today I'm going to be ranking all of the Angry Birds from Angry Birds 2. Now, the reason why I'm quiet is because my parents are still sleeping. So, yeah. Anyways, starting off we have Redbird. To be honest, he's a pretty decent character. He can blast shockwaves that can topple the towers down. But without it, he, and with, so, uh, yeah, B tier. Then we have, oh no. I think it's safe to say that the blues are the only birds that are just bad. They can't destroy anything besides glass. And, yeah. They can barely do any damage to the boss that fights. So yeah, D tier. Then we have Chuck. To be honest, he's a decent character as well. He's pretty good with the wood, and he can speed up. So yeah, B tier. And then we have Matilda. I think, to be honest, she's a pretty solid character. The egg draw, the egg bob ability is pretty pretty cool. To be honest, I know not that high. And, but. Damage to the structure herself, he's she's just not that good. So A tier. Then we have then we have silver. What do I think of her? I mean it's alright, I guess. I used to think that she she's one of the only bad birds birds since she's not that good with objects until the shockwave came in. Like the shockwave to send objects flying, that's a pretty cool cool feature. And she also does good damage to the boss battles. So, yeah. C tier. Here. You're lucky, Silver. Then we have Bob. No reason for... No explanation for the ability. One of the... One of the most solid birds in the game. And then we have... Terrence. Aw, oh, man. The big guy. E. He can literally destroy anything, if you use him correctly, that is. Don't use him all willy-nilly, though. It's best to reserve him for boss battles. S-tier! <clears throat> then we have Stella. Another decent character. She can trap objects and enemies in bubbles, which sends them flying. Which is actually pretty cool. B-tier. Then we have Hal. Aw, oh, one of my favorite birds. His ability is to turn around like a boomerang, which is pretty cool. And he's also destructive with anything. He can cut through more towers in a row. And, yeah, S tier. But, although, sometimes there's no... When you pick the extra birds, there's much better options. Much, much better options. Bubbles is very solid in this game. He can do, do so many good things. Send bosses flying, send objects launching. And he's, he's very good with breaking wood. And... and so, I probably missed something, but whatever. Truly one of the be truly the best bird in the game. S tier. Now we have Leonard. Hold up, that's not a bird. Is he actually a good guy now? Anyways, Leonard Leonard's ability is to shoot out three individual snot balls. And I think I think it's pretty cool. To be honest. Although I'm, I don't really use him correctly because I don't know how. A tier, and then we have the newest playable playable bird in the game, Melody. Um, she can suck up blocks and pigs and then send them flying. The damage to the boss depends on how much you hold in your mouth. I mean, in the ma in her mouth. 
So yeah, truly a good bird. A tier. And with that, I think we're done. Um, sorry if this was short or any or something, but the next video might be longer. I promise. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today. For today, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.